Russia's most recent spaceport is the Vostochny Space Center, also known as the Vostochny Cosmodrome, which is located in the Russian Far East's Amur Oblast. The Cosmodrome is one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects of the 21st century in Russia, as it was designed as a strategic initiative to guarantee the nation's independent and future-proof access to space. Its construction represents a substantial change in Russian space policy and capabilities, with the objective of decreasing dependence on outdated launch sites located outside of the country. Following the Soviet Union's dissolution in 1991, the Baikonur Cosmodrome, which served as the launch site for the first satellite and human in space, was relocated to Kazakhstan, which had recently gained independence. Russia was compelled to lease Baikonur at an enormous annual cost, which presented economic and geopolitical challenges. Russia's aspiration for an alternative launch complex that was in complete national control was further fueled by these circumstances. Officials made announcements in 2007 about the establishment of a modern, domestic cosmodrome. The location, which sits in the vicinity of Tsiolkovsky, formerly Uglegorsk, Amur Oblast, was selected due to its remoteness, which minimizes the danger to populated areas and allows for access to a wide range of orbital inclinations. Svobodny, a Soviet missile base, had previously been built in the vicinity. Because of its present military and logistical infrastructure, it was a suitable option for conversion into a modern spaceport. Construction work commenced in earnest around 2012 with substantial government oversight and financing. In April 2016, the facility carried out its inaugural successful launch, which was a notable turning point in Russia's initiative to enhance its domestic launch capabilities. The Vostochny Space Center is a vast complex that includes many parts that are essential for autonomous space operations. These consist of residential areas for workers and specialists, rocket fueling and assembly areas, and high-tech launch platforms. The project is of immense scope, necessitating the participation of thousands of construction specialists, engineers, and laborers. It also has its own transport systems and airfield to accommodate oversized rocket components and supplies. The construction was divided into numerous phases. Facilities were constructed during the initial phase to accommodate the Soyuz 2 family of rockets, which are Russia's dependable medium-lift workhorses. The plan then included the expansion of more advanced systems, particularly the Angara rocket series, which represents Russia's future in modular, heavy-lift launch vehicles. The construction of vertical assembly structures and critical payload integration facilities was a component of each phase, which was designed to optimize operations and ensure their safety. Nevertheless, the project's ambitious nature met with several obstacles. It was open to mismanagement and delays due to its large budget and logistical complexity. Financial scandals such as widespread embezzlement, inadequate supervision, and labor exploitation were reported. Prosecutions, audits, and direct attention from the highest levels of government were initiated in response to the estimated loss of billions of rubles to larceny. Construction proceeded regardless of these obstacles, as the Cosmodrome's strategic importance justified it. Vostokny Space Center is equipped with sophisticated launch infrastructure, specifically designed to accommodate Russian rockets of both current and future generations. Specialized launch pads, which are equipped with fueling systems, service gantries, and environmental enclosures, are located at the center of the launch complex. The Mobile Service Tower, a 52-meter tall structure that protects missiles from harsh weather, and enables vertical preparation and servicing is of particular interest. This superstructure is a significant innovation that is beneficial in the Far East climate. The Soyuz 2 family, which encompasses the 2.1A and 2.1B variants, is currently supported by the launch site. Medium lift rockets are capable of transporting payloads of up to 7.4 tons to low Earth orbit, making them suitable for a range of commercial, military, and scientific missions. In addition, 
Facilities that will provide support for the Angara family of missiles are currently undergoing construction and testing. These modular heavy lift vehicles are expected to have payload capacities that exceed 35 tons, thereby establishing Russia as a significant factor in the launch of large payloads into deep space and orbit. Vostoshny's mission control infrastructure is built by modern requirements, providing sophisticated telemetry and tracking capabilities. The control center enables the real-time monitoring of spacecraft maneuvers, orbital insertions, and rocket operations. It is completely integrated with Russia's broader space communications network, which includes the ability to interact with other facilities throughout the country and even with space-based assets such as the Russian segment of the International Space Station. These capabilities guarantee complete self-sufficiency for long-duration missions and remote launches. Vostoshny is equipped with a specialized airport designed to accommodate the transportation of sensitive and bulky aerospace equipment. Its runways are capable of accommodating the world's largest aircraft, including the Antonov AN-124 and Ilyushin Il-76 cargo planes, which are essential for the transfer of rocket components from manufacturing centers in European Russia. During launch windows, the airport also functions as a platform for emergency response and logistical operations. Tsiolkovsky, a completely planned city, has been built in the vicinity to accommodate the workforce. This settlement, previously known as Uglogorsk, has been transformed into a residential metropolis that includes modern housing, medical facilities, commercial centers, and schools. To ensure that the specialists and technicians employed at the Space Center maintain a high quality of life, infrastructure enhancements such as new roads, utility systems, and internet connectivity are implemented. The necessity to decrease dependence on external facilities, particularly the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan, was one of the main reasons behind the construction of Vostochny. Even though Baikonur is still under a lease agreement, Russia was compelled to establish its own modern launch site due to financial constraints and geopolitical concerns. Russia's sovereign launch capabilities are safeguarded by Vostochny, which also bolsters a national strategy of technological self-reliance in space affairs. Vostochny is also intended to accommodate a wide range of mission categories in the long term, such as spacecraft for navigation, reconnaissance, communications, and deep space exploration. It effectively positions Russia to command an independent orbit policy without the necessity of coordinating with foreign authorities or infrastructure, a significant advantage in both peacetime and potential conflict scenarios. The far eastern region of Russia, which has historically had a deficit in development, has been significantly impacted by the construction and operation of Vostochny. The region has experienced a surge in public and private investment, resulting in the creation of thousands of jobs and the modernization of regional infrastructure, totaling billions of rubles. The Roscosmos State Corporation for Space Activities is currently collaborating with training centers, universities, and technical colleges to cultivate a new generation of aerospace professionals. The Cosmodrome is designed with a commercial perspective in addition to its national benefits. It is accessible to international customers who are interested in launching satellites and spacecraft. Vostochny enables Russia to provide launch services on a global scale, competing with entities such as SpaceX, Arianespace, and India's ISRO as the space sector becomes more competitive and privatized. This commercial potential is particularly critical in ensuring that global orbital services maintain a robust presence as satellite launches, telecom missions, and lunar payloads continue to increase. Significant financial discrepancies and allegations of corruption plagued the Vostochny project from the outset. Investigations revealed the theft of a significant amount of money, often through the use of fictitious employees, inflated contracts, or phantom construction crews. High-ranking officials' involvement led to the initiation of arrests and legal proceedings. In spite of government initiatives to enhance transparency and terminate contractors who were mismanaging the project, 
the issue continued throughout its various phases. In addition to causing delays, this wrongdoing resulted in project costs that exceeded the original projections. In many cases, construction milestones were overlooked, resulting in the creation of last-minute task forces and special commissions to maintain the overall project's progress. The situation was the subject of national media scrutiny and direct criticism from the Kremlin, which underscored the challenges of overseeing a large-scale infrastructure project in a remote area. However, the Cosmodrome's location also presented practical challenges, in addition to corruption. Year-round construction is challenging in the region due to seismic activity, high rainfall, and harsh winters. The need for a comprehensive support infrastructure, including high-capacity roadways, electrical grids, and telecommunications, further complicated the process. The development of an entire operational ecosystem from the ground up in a remote region of the nation significantly impeded progress. Additionally, the transfer of personnel, components, and fuel across the immense distances of Russia necessitated meticulous coordination and investment in transportation systems. The endeavor was further complicated by delays in component delivery, assembly difficulties, and the difficulty of recruiting specialized workers for long-term residents in the Far East. Vostochny's ultimate goal is to become the primary launch center in Russia, surpassing Baikonur in terms of versatility and volume. Vostochny is anticipated to serve as the launch site for future Russian crewed space missions, including those that involve the Orel Next Generation spacecraft, although Baikonur remains operational under a lease agreement until at least 2050. Additionally, ongoing developments involve the expansion of facilities to accommodate additional Angara variants and the potential for a super heavy lift launch vehicle. Future plans may include planetary missions, lunar cargo launches, science satellites, and commercial space tourism. The site is also considered a critical component of Russia's prospective lunar program, which includes the development of robotic landers, orbiters, and ultimately human missions under the Russian Luna program. In conclusion, the Vostochny Space Center is not merely a launch site. It represents a new era in Russian space exploration, reflecting the nation's ambition, technological advancements, and dedication to ensuring the country's autonomous access to space. Even though its voyage has been tumultuous, the site serves as a testament to the ingenuity and resolve of the Russian people in the contemporary era of space exploration. Vostochny is on the verge of being the focal point of Russia's civil, commercial, and strategic space activities over time, contingent upon the successful execution of future initiatives. If you enjoy the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Additionally, please consider purchasing memberships to support us.